I have another quick video I wanted to share with you guys on how to restore your Google Nexus 7 2013 second generation tablet back to completely factory stock using the Google factory image. Okay, and I'm going to be using my Windows computer here, which is a Windows 7 Ultimate system. It's a 64-bit operating system, so I'm on a Windows PC here. I'm going to uh, show you guys how to download the factory image and we're going to restore the tablet. But before we do that, make sure you guys back up all your data on your tablet right now. This is going to wipe out everything, including it, like if you're rooted, everything's going to go. This is going to take you back to completely stock. So in my previous videos, I showed you guys how to download the Android developer tools. I'll put a link to that in the description. If you know you haven't gotten this far you gotta do that first so you've gotta go watch that video first you gotta have your Android developer tools installed and set up on your computer you also have to have the bootloader unlocked on your tablet which I did a video on that also and I'm gonna put a link to those videos in the description or in the video itself here you'll see some links so if you guys haven't gotten and you know gotten that far you need to go watch those videos before you can do this factory restore um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in here to my user account. In my previous videos I used this same directory here and I created a folder called ADT which I extracted the Android developer tools to. So in here under SDK under platform tools I told you guys to press down on your shift key and right click on the mouse somewhere here in the white area and then you're gonna get something here that says open command window here you wanna left click that. So we were this far before in my previous videos show you how to get this far when we unlock the bootloader so if any of you need to you know know where I'm at or how to get that far you've got to watch my previous videos in order to get where we're at now um, what I'm gonna do now though and I think that's where I left off before but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to Google developers and we're gonna download the factory image so you wanna go to Google just choose Google developers search Google developers and Google and then go ahead and click on Google Developers. So once you're on Google's page here, select Products, and then go over here and choose Android. Okay. On the left over here, you're going to see Nexus Factory Images. This is where I'm going to get my factory image for my tablet. Okay. Now I know that the you got to be careful here because some of these models, you know, there's there's several different ones here. Okay. I know that mine is um, the product name Razer because my device name is Flow. Okay, so factory image is Razer for Nexus 7 2013 Wi-Fi. This one down here is for Nexus 7 2013 Mobile. So that's really important. You guys want to make sure you get the, the correct image. Um, it could really cause some problems if you don't. So make sure you're, you're at least that far and you understand what you need to choose here. So the latest one looks like it's at the bottom here. This is going to be Android 4.4.2, which is what I'm running on my tablet now. I probably mentioned this before, but my tablet is the 32 gig model and it's the Wi-Fi only version and it's currently running Android 4.4.2 KitKat on it. So that's the one I'm going to choose here, which is going to be this one right here, 4.4.2. And what that does is stick it right here, right up here at the top. So what you want to do is just click link and what's going to happen here is this is going to download, okay? And you want to know where that's downloading to. So make sure you download that um, into your user account or your downloads folder, wherever you guys are putting your stuff. But right now, I'm actually going to cancel that because I already downloaded it. So we're just going to kind of skip that for now. And I'm going to go straight in here to where I down downloaded it uh, previously. So again, download that. Let it download. Go into your... I'm going to go into my user account here, and I created a folder called Nexus 7 Wi, you know, 2013 Wi-Fi 4.4.2, and I downloaded that um, factory image in here, and this is what you'll get. Okay, um, again, my previous videos show you guys how to install 7-Zip or WinRAR, which is a, a file extract, you know, for extracting compressed files. Which this is a, a compressed file, so. What you want to do here is right click on this and I'm going to choose um, extract here. And what this is going to do is extract the files inside this package and they'll show up here in this folder. And, and you know, once we get a little further here, guys, I'm going to move uh, the camera off of me and I'll put it on the tablet so you can watch the tablet 
Not that it's going to do a lot, but at least give you an idea of what's going on. So go into your, once that extracts, go into the Razor folder, okay, and you're going to have all these um, files, like your, there's your bootloader image, um, the flash all bat file. What you want to do is select all these files, okay, you can, you can choose organize, select all, right click, and what you want to do is copy. So left click copy, and then uh, you want to take those, you, you then want to take those uh, f files and go to your, wherever you guys downloaded your Android developer tools folder, you want to put them in the platform tools folder. So when I extracted this ADT bundle, I created this folder here called ADT. I went in here, and this is what you know shows up after you extract it. You go into your ATD, AT, ADT bundle, and then you want to come down to where it says SDK. Double click that. Go into your platform tools folder here. Now in this folder, somewhere here in the white area, right click and just paste. That's going to paste all your files in here that you can you know that you're going to use. And when you run this batch file, it is going to, you know, extract and pull these files and um, install your factory image, okay? So now what you want to do is go ahead and hold the shift key down, right click, and choose open command window here. And once you get your command window up, um, what I'm going to do real quick, though, is I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be right back. I'm going to switch screens, get me off here, and get my tablet on the screen. So you guys can finish watching um, what, what we got to do. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And what we want to do is I have my tablet up here. And um, just so you guys know, make sure you have a good uh, full battery charge on your tablet. Um, also, like I said, make sure you've watched my previous videos um, on unlocking the bootloader. Make sure your bootloader is unlocked before you do this. Um, okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and get started here. What we want to do is I'm going to run through this real quick. I already did this in my previous videos, but we're going to have to do it again because I did wipe my tablet out earlier. But So what you want to do is go into your settings, and you want to come down here and look for developer options. Of course, mine's not there. I'm going to go in and enable developer options. So you want to click on this so five to seven times until you get it says you are now a developer. Simply click back. Um, now you'll see developer options right here. Um, go ahead and select that. Developer options are turned on by default. What you want to do is come down and find the one that says USB debugging. Check mark that. Select OK, and go back to the the screen, the desktop screen here. Now I'm going to connect the USB cable that originally came with my tablet to my tablet. Okay, so I got my cable plugged in, and you're going to see it's saying connected as media device. You're going to get this pop-up that says allow USB debugging with the uh, RSA key. Go ahead and select the box that says always allow from your computer, and go ahead and select OK. Now what we want to do is come back to our command window on the computer, and uh, we're going to type in what you want to do is type in up here ADB devices and hit enter. You're going to see uh, it says list of devices attached. Now I know my device is attached. And again, if you guys have done all my stuff in the previous videos, you know, you're not going to, like right now, if it's trying to install drivers or whatever, go ahead and install those. But you should be past all that. So what you want to do from here is go ahead and just type in ADB reboot bootloader as you can see I hit enter and then it starts right up into my bootloader into fast boot mode now here's the other thing I was showing you guys when I was downloading that image I said um, the product name was flow right in here it says product name flow okay so I did a little research and it, it goes along with the the correct one called Razor, so that's um, the one I went ahead and downloaded. And then my lock state, of course, down here says unlocked, and you've got to be unlocked to do this. So there's my tablet ready to go. And now all we really have to do here is we are in fast boot mode. And I'll show you guys before I do this real quick. If you guys need to, um, don't do this, but I'm going to power off my tablet real quick. 
I'm just going to simply power my tablet off, but don't worry. Um, it has nothing to do with the video. I want to show you guys a second way to get into the bootloader to fast boot mode. Just hold down on the volume, your volume key down. Press and hold that down, and then press and hold your power button. Both at the same time until you get this screen popping up. So there it goes right back into uh, fast boot mode. So if you guys have a tablet that's completely powered off and you can't access it the way I did using the command prompt, that's a second, a second way for you guys to get in there and do it. Okay, so now all you really need to do, once you've extracted those files and you moved them into the, um, over here into this folder, we're good to go to run the command to flash the system. Okay, so all you need to do now is type in flash space well, mine's going to be dash all. So flash dash all. Just like it says right, right here on the, on the batch file itself. And before I do click um, enter, just so you know, if you double click flash all, this batch file right here, if you simply double click that, it starts the same process as it does right now as if I hit enter. So type in flash dash all and you'll see we're starting the process right now. When you see this stuff pop up, archive does not contain boot.sig, just disregard those. That's normal. So if you just want to follow along here, I'll scroll up and you can follow right on down. There it shows, you know, it shows flow right there, 04.02. Um, if you look back here at the top, it says sending bootloader, writing bootloader, rebooting into bootloader. Um, after it takes care of the bootloader, then it gets down here and it starts, you know, it checks the product. Um, it sends boot. It writes boot. Now it's writing recovery. It's erasing system. We're sending recovery, writing recovery, erasing system. Um, sending system, writing system. And it's just going to keep on going down the list here. Like, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do user data. It's going to do cache. So this is completely wiping out your tablet. This is a pretty easy thing to do once you guys get the hang of it. Um, not a big deal at all, really, really to do it. What will happen is it will simply finish up here and get to the bottom. It will restart. It will restart the tablet, and it will boot back up to the welcome screen. And then you just fill in your, your credentials, and your tablet should be working back to normal. So again, just be careful doing this. Make sure you guys have all the proper things installed and turned on. All my, my two previous videos, like I said, I'll have links to those in the description. They pretty much explain how to get this far for you guys to perform a factory, um, a factory restore back to completely factory stock. So here you can see it's gone down, finishing there. You can see the tablet just shut off and it's restarting. And we'll just look through here real, real quick again about uh, of what it did here. Did um, writing recovery, um, erasing system, sending system, um, writing system, erasing user data, formatting user data, and then I believe what else here? Sending user data, writing that. Here it is at the bottom: erasing cache, formatting cache. So it, it formats the cache partition. I mean, it literally it goes through everything. So again, if you guys were rooted, you'll lose root, all that stuff. This takes you 100% completely back to factory stock. So once you get to the bottom here, just go ahead and hit enter. That gets rid of your command window, and as you can see in the tablet there, it's going to start back up and jump to the welcome screen. We'll just wait till it finishes up. You guys can relock your bootloader after you do a factory restore, but I don't plan to because I'm going to be doing some other videos showing you how to do some stuff. So I'm going to leave my bootloader unlocked, and I probably will not be relocking it. And it it does possibly void your warranty, but as long as you, if you were to flash this factory image back on there and relock your bootloader, then you know you could probably send this tablet in for repair, and it'd, it'd be just fine. But it wouldn't be really any fun if you couldn't fix things yourself and save yourself a lot of time and money.
So I hope you guys were, were able to uh, get this far back to the welcome screen. Um, again, watch my previous videos if you know you're lost at this point. Um, please leave me any comments. Um, please subscribe, like, you know, comment on my channel, whatever. Um, that's pretty much all I got for you guys right now. I am going to be doing another video um, showing you how to restore the tablet with another command um, where there was some issues running into problems um, getting a command to work and um, I'll show you how to f correct that issue so I hope you guys have a great one um, again please subscribe like comment my channel and you guys have a good one